Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the adventures of Ranash. Now Ranash has a lot of his mind and last time was really a milestone in uh, in his life. He managed to get into the College of Winterhold. He already had his first lesson and got his first assignment where they were set out to explore these uh, ruins which have already been shown to contain some undead. Um, but that's not the only of Renash's worries, that's actually what worries him the least right now. There's also the matter of him constantly being attacked and approached by, by dragons. Uh, there's the stranger that came up to him just before they, uh, they entered the ruin, handing him a, a axe of some sort and said he would come back for it later. Um, no idea what's going on there, but well, we'll see what happens with that. And then of course, being inside the ruin now, they had an encounter with what's called the Psychic Order. No idea still what they're doing, what they're up to. Um, Renaz's teacher told him that they shouldn't have anything to do with these ruins. They shouldn't be here. They should be out extinct a long time ago. So it's a bit of a mystery. Um, but I think what worries Renaz the, the most is actually his teacher himself. Um, he started out quite well with an introduction to, uh, um, to, to really safety around using magic. But as soon as we got out here in the field, all those worries seem to have disappeared, encouraging to try on random magic items before they even got a chance to study them. And now that we are in a ruin infested by undead, he has just left this completely new initiative to explore deeper into the ruin on his own with any regards to the, to, to the, the initiative safety. But Renash, of course, has a bit of um, experience in these kind of things, so he's not too worried about that, but he does get a bit worried about his teacher that he's just... Would, sent him on on a mission or a task like this but again Renash determined not to fail and to do his level best so um let's venture forth you can see here this, ooh, this, was, this one's already dead okay wonder what killed that uh oh what is that that looks like something we don't want to touch but Gonna deploy a, uh, a ward here and gonna fire some spell at it. Okay. So basically, they're traps and. Yeah, okay, someone heard that. Well, the ward only protects us against, against spells, so they have no effect here. After dealing with a few more undead, Renash ventures further in and he comes across his first. Hold on, there's one there. Uh, he comes across his first what looks like some kind of puzzle. It seems familiar to him. These are the... You've seen these kind of pillars before that can be rotated for various symbols. He spotted six of them. Here, here, and here. And of course there's a handle here probably to activate it. But he also noticed all these small traps around the side. Um, so I guess now we have to backtrack because there seems to be no symbols in here. So we're actually going to try to backtrack and see if there's any clues anywhere to what the combination might be. After searching the ruins for a while, Renash decides to return back to the room again to have a look at the pillars and that was he noticed symbols behind the pillars not immediately visible when you're standing in the front of the pillar and move to the side you can see them that might be it okay and with all the pillars in place we should probably be a little careful here because this might be a trap and again we know the ward is not going to protect us because this is probably not magical so we'll pull the lever. We're gonna have our restoration spell ready. Seems it was not a trap. Or at least that it's a more devious trap than... Uh, oh, what is this? Door? Oh. What do we have here? Some kind of assembly hall, it seems. There's a 
lit from an open grave. That's always worrying. Oh, and there's the guy who was in it. Oh, he is quite strong. Oh, he hurts. He hurts a lot. There's one thing Ranas has learned is not to do exactly what he did there, is to get into a confined area. Try to stay out in the open, kite them as much as you can, run circles around them and conserve your magicka. Conserve your magicka as much as you can. Where did he go? No sight of him. There he is. So, don't use your spells continuously. Use them a little bit at a time. And stay out of his reach as much of the time as you possibly can. And with that tactic, the undead is quickly dealt with. There we go. So, what was he protecting? There's his grave. We saw the lit down there. It almost looked... I mean... Hmm, okay. One thing that Renaz has noticed is he found several of these scrolls. Again, making him very, very interested. Especially he found one earlier. For... Um, that was seemed to be a conjuration spell. And of course, that is something that immediately... Uh, makes Renaz very interested. He was really came here with the purpose of learning conjuration magic. But he haven't really been able to learn any yet. So the fact that he found a scroll, at least that's something. It's a place to start. Okay, here we go. So we have a snake and a whale. And we have a bird and a whale. So... Oh... Oh, here we go. Okay, so the symbols are repeated up here, above them. Snake whale. Snake whale. Bird. And a whale here. Okay, so if I turn this... These two turn. What if I turn it again? Then those two turns as well. What if I turn this? Turn this one. All three of them turn. And this one, only that one turns. And if this one, no one turns. Okay, so that means we just have to set this one first. Where everything turns. And once that is done, we can then set this one. It already is. Nice. And then we can set this one to a bird. And now those should stay the same. Yes. And then we can set the last one. Already is. Done. Perfect. Hold on, my Hold on. Oh, what's that? I thought it high time I caught up with you. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, so you didn't abandon us after all. What could this place be? Hmm. Oh, what is that? Uh, have you seen this? Come have a look. Well now. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? I never imagined we'd find something like this. No, me neither. Why is this buried so far within Sarthol? Probably because they didn't want us to find it. This is simply fascinating. Someone has clearly gone to great length to hide this. Closed graves. For some reason, closed graves are beginning to make me more anxious than open ones. Because the open ones we know people are not coming out of. Hmm. Yeah, okay, he's... He's awake. Okay. Like he's outside my range. Nothing seems to work. Okay, he can cast magic as well. That means we need to get our ward ready. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he... 
instantly broke the wall. Ow. Oh, he hurts. Oh, here we go. So, it seems when he's damaging the orb, or at least the shield around the orb, sometimes he'll be shrouded in this purple mist. And when he's shrouded in the purple mist, then we can actually damage him and do some some actual damage. As long as he doesn't have it, our spells is next to no effect. So for now, I'm just gonna keep running in circles with him. He seems to have forgotten the fact. Oh, okay, let's set that too early. At least for a while, he seemed to have forgotten that he could use spells. There we go. He has that mist around him again. Come on. Oh, this hurts. This hurts a lot. Okay. Yeah, he is dead. Out. Oops. Break line of sight. Break line of sight. Oh. I think we got him. Oh, and the shield is gone. Very much so. Hold on. What is he carrying? Oh, he's having carrying another one of these amulets. We'll take that back. And as some kind of paper. So the letter he had on him, and it says, "Be bound here, Uric, murderer, betrayer, condemned by your crimes against the realm and lord. May your name." and your deed be forgotten forever and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward so it seems like the necklace he was wearing was what was keeping him here so probably a bad idea to put that on and as a troll skull there are multiple troll skulls here but it also said it was protected by a ward and that was what was looked like a ward that was around that one to defend yourself what what is this thing i have no idea this is amazing absolutely amazing the archmage needs to be informed immediately he needs to see this for himself i don't dare leave this unattended can you return to the college and inform savos Aran of this discovery please hurry right away Renash hurries back to the college and recall that the Archmage Chamber should be somewhere in this building, so I guess we're gonna try to we can find some stairs. It should be somewhere above it here. Is it further up? Where is he? Oh. Oh yeah, that's the Archmage. You are relatively new here, are you not? I am. I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. But we oh, is he gonna be polite? Uh, no, I think you're just gonna go and know we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Let's not chit chat too much. I, I agree with him, but let's go straight to uh, to the topic here. We need to talk to him about uh, what we found the ruins. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right incinerated? now. Incinerated? We found some sort of orb. Um, we want you to see it. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation thank you for bringing this to my attention Tolfdir normally looks after your little group yes since he's apparently occupied and i will need to see this discovery for myself i think perhaps you should begin researching the subject 
Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything Ooh. that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Now, if you'll excuse Ooh, me. What did we get? Ooh, so basically we got a staff that can shoot orbs of light and that's very handy. Now, Renash being a Khajiit, of course, I mean, he can see in the dark, so it's it's not a huge issue, but it's still nice to have. Let's go straight to the Arcanium, if we know where it is. Is this the Arcanium? Wait, where are we? This is not, this is not where I thought it would be. Okay. Well. Are we... Oh, this must be the top floor then. I guess. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Uh, let's get straight to business and ask if there's anything um, that we can learn about. If you have anything to can tell us about what we found in uh, in the ruins. I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. You don't have anything that can help at all? I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. Summoners. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Renas decides to stick around in, uh, in the Arcanium for a bit, and he picks up a book about legends in Skyrim, figuring that maybe some of those would contain something. Um, they don't contain anything about the orb itself, but it does tell the story of an archmage um, Galdur, who at some point got hunted down um, by a Lord Grimmund, um, and, or at least his personal battle mage. Uh, the, the Archmage was killed, and so was all his, uh, him, his sons and daughters. Um, I do believe, because the, the, the undead that we encountered in the ruin um, was definitely bound by someone who was very um, experienced in magic, and he was definitely a um, a powerful mage himself. So this might actually be um, be who this reference uh, references. It would explain why he would be held there as a captive, and it's it's quite interesting. It gives a little clue about what was going on and why this guy was down there. Um, now. I think the next logical step would probably be to see if we could find someone else. We're not allowed to take the book out of the Arcanium, by the way. Um, but it would the next logical step would probably be if we could find someone who knows more about this legend. Um, I don't know if we should try to ask him, maybe. All right, then. Yeah, that was not very helpful. You there. I have questions for you. Oh? You were in Sarfo, yes? Correct. It has come to my attention that something was found there. Uh, yes, I have just informed the Archmage. I am well aware. Tolfdir is still in Sarthorn, is he? I shall be expecting a full report from him when he returns. I, I have no idea what, who this guy is, and the other guy seems to be a little on edge with him. Um, but I'm not going to get involved in anything here, so um, I'm just going to ask him how he knows anything about this. It is my job to know these things. My role as advisor to the Archmage is aided by knowing everything that transpires here. Thank you for your help. You may go now. I don't like this guy. It's at this point that Renash realizes he's been up all night. It's 10 a.m. in the morning. And he hasn't slept all night. He's been all night in that ruin. So he's going to take a quick trip by his room just to get a few hours of sleep in before he heads out because there's no point in heading into what's most likely going to be a hostile environment here um, without a bit of sleep so let's get a few hours of sleep and uh, then we can head out on uh, see if we can recover some of those books after acquiring around the college for the location of uh, Felglow Keep 
Ranas realizes this place is not as close as he thought. It's almost all the way back to White Run where he came from. That took him several days. So he packed his things and is now heading out. He decided to take a slightly different route. Um, the other one was too easy to travel and it requires to run along some, well, not too public road. So this time we're going to try a slightly different route and we're going to see if we can find a way to, uh, to the city of uh, Dawnstar. And from there we should be able to make it south through a passage between the mountains. And uh, and that hopefully should get us pretty close to uh, to Felglow Keep. But um, for now, we're on the road again. Now, this is a disturbing sight for the in the afternoon. The, the whole thing clears up a bit and out here in the middle of nowhere there's just this burning patch of land. And someone who's clearly been burnt to a crisp. Isra. Who's Isra? We got Isra's necklace. And some gold. Well. There's some burnt paper here. And there's a book. Flame cloak. Well. It seems to maybe not be the best spell, or at least something went very, very wrong when that spell was cast. Should probably be careful with that book. Hmm. We have to ask around if anyone knew an, an Isra. Maybe it was a mage, so at least someone was capable of casting magic, clearly. So maybe someone back at the college knows. Coming up over the top of a, of a small hill, and there it is, the city of Dawnstar. Perfect timing. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's um, it's not too late. I mean, we managed to get here in just a few hours, so that's pretty good. And uh, I don't think we'll be staying here for the night. There's no point in beginning to move south now. And again, Renash only got a few hours of sleep before he uh, he headed out, so he really could use a night's sleep. So. I think from here we will, Arunash will um, will find an inn. We'll talk to the local people about uh, uh, Isra. If anybody knows uh, Isra, Isra, if anybody knows a person by that name, um, and then uh, we'll head out in the morning. But that is all gonna be in the next episode. I'm Colin Cole here for now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did. And you want to follow the adventure of the Nash, remember to go down and give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the space.